Dual Review is brought to you by SpiderWolf.com. On today's Dual Review, it's Killer Bunnies and the quest for the magic carrot. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. Everybody, today is August the 7th, and we're taking a look at Killer Bunnies and the Quest for the Magic Carrot. That's right, and this was uh, published by Playroom Entertainment, and it's created by Jeff Bellinger. It's a 2-8 to eight player game, and basically the premise is you need to find the Magic Carrot. Um, you get your, your, you get your uh, rabbits, or bunnies, because they're bunnies, uh, and your deck... Oh, no, that's right. Uh, and this gets a little confusing, because some of the backs are blue and some of them are yellow, Technically, there's expansion packs. In fact, there's ten. Yeah, a whole bunch of them. There's like ten expansion packs, not including what the expansion. Because this was originally just the blue, the the blue deck. Right, but uh, came up first. Now the core includes the, the yellow the deck yellow as well. Center. But then there's like you know the the fuchsia deck and then the teal deck and then the truck. I have no idea. There, there's like ten of them. It's ridiculous. Yeah, we see it everywhere, and we've we've never played it nope. uh, up until recently, of course. And uh, but a friend of ours, good friend Theron, thank you, Theron allowed us to borrow his game and uh yeah we played it and found out what it is yeah um and and i don't know how to explain it okay so so there's several different types of bunnies each one with their abilities um which can be seen right down there and they come in a variety of colors plus there's things known as uh, a tr uh what is it a triplet so if you get three of the same color character uh same color bunny uh it gets laid out in front of you and that with same name yeah with the same name same color named character. So this is timid, timid, timid bunny. So I have three different color timid bunnies. Then they get an additional effect. In addition to the t timid bunny, we have the congenial bunny, the sinister bunny, the gleeful bunny, and the lumbering bunny, among others. If you have the rest of the uh, expansions, uh, and then you you use your uh, uh, you use your bunnies to gain because you can only uh, use items and stuff when you have bunnies out, and then you use them to attack another player. What's interesting is that. Uh, you have to play two cards ahead of what's happening. So you have to kind of guess what your opponent is doing and then play two cards ahead. So you're going to have two cards face down. Let's say that you have these two face down. Uh, and then you have, what is it, five in your hand. So seven cards total. And uh, this is the play area right here. Well, when it is your turn, you're going to flip over the next card, move this one up, place another one down, and then draw your card, the one that you put down. Uh, unless it says that you can play two cards at once. Uh, and then, you know, it just keeps on going. So this one is in, this top one is in the play area, and things can affect this one, while these two are upside down out of out of play. But of course you can have more bunnies than once, right. and so, a lot of weapons have area effects, so you're going to hurt your bunnies as well as their bunnies. But like he said, you need to have a bunny in front of you in order to right. use a lot of these cards. For instance, the sword. The sword requires that you have a bunny to play it, and that's sign signified by this this magenta square being, you know, covered. Yeah. Um, and then it has a color for the type of attack as well. So you do this, if you have a bunny, you, your bunny can attack with a sword, and then you roll a number of the colored dice, depending on, you know, what the card is. Uh, you roll that, and it affects your bunny, possibly, but their bunny. I mean, you can target a certain bunny, and then, you know, radius out, so if you're playing with multiple people... Um, and the cards are a lot of fun and varied. They do have some ridiculous things. Yes. Um, and there's a lot of weird, I, I guess it's Eastern religion, kind of like Kabbalah market and like Taurus and I don't know, just weird, like, yeah. Uh, you also have to possibly like feed the bunny. Like I have a card right. here that you force your opponent to feed their bunny, care for their bunny. So you have a different number of cards. You have cabbage cards, you have water cards. And uh, you have to have a number of these. You know, each one of them has a different, you know, value on the back. Um, and you might have to spend them, you know, kind of like currency to to pay for, you know, keeping your bunny alive. Right. Um, you also have these carrot cards, which are basically the main objective of the game. Although these tokens, at least for the way that we play, the way that you know the the core game plays, doesn't really matter. You just shuffle them up. Um, these all have counterparts. These these carrot cards, they have counterparts. Uh, the pink backs that you get um, from certain card effects or by buying them through the Cabal's Market, and they each have characters. Yep. And so, um, yeah. This is flow. 
you kind of when you win you know or you play a certain card that allows you to get two carrots or whatever you you pick the carrot and whatever right. you so i have my stack of carrots that i've chosen he has his stack of carrots that he's chosen and then at the end of the game it literally is whatever's on the bottom well what's on the bottom of this deck no whatever's on the bottom of this no no those are the tokens that we take these are the tokens that we take so so if it says get a carrot we're going to take this one and i have uh, carrot number three and basically what's happening is the more carrots you have the better chances of getting this now this is the carrot deck so the one on the bottom is the magic carrot so what the rules technically say to do is if you want to build up suspense you go one by one well it's not uh, butch and it's not rick but we just look at the bottom so what you're buying carrots for is a chance to win so right now i have carrot number three well carrot number <coughs> three is not mine i do not win carrot number this is carrot number seven plus well, i'm gonna seven. i'm gonna possibly disagree with you just because i know that we did play so that we got these cards and i wouldn't know why they'd have you know, a little bit of extra capability possibly if we didn't get these cards rather than these cards but regardless it doesn't really matter and that's kind of our critique of this game is that no matter how well you play and how many magic carrots you get it all comes down to who's on the bottom because if he has one carrot and i have all the rest but he has the carrot that's on the bottom he wins oh i see i see so, so it's it's super irritating all right i see i just i just thought that because he said the carrot cards uh, yeah maybe you're right possibly but we did play with them but yeah, it doesn't yeah, really remember, matter like i now. say you're right so anyway um the the fun in this game is these different you know cards these so right. like a food processor i can have if i have a bunny out i can use this food processor against and the uniqueness of planning ahead because right. let's say that he's able you know i have one bunny and i was lucky enough to get gleeful bunny out there and then i had these two cards here and we'll see, you know, I, I hope I get to use these or whatever. He ends up killing my bunny before I'm able to bring out the food processor. Now, yeah. I have no bunnies, so I can't use this. Which this is completely started. wasted. So you really have to think, like, okay, well, which one does he have? And there's things like Lucky Clover that you can attach to your bunny to prevent a certain number of damage, depending on how, many, how lucky it is. Um, and so there, there are a lot of fun little cards. And, um, you know, every once in a while you'll snicker just by, uh -huh, you know, kind of thing. <laughs> like this. This is funny to me. Uh, instead of the monolith, it's the mini-lith, and it's kind of like the Space Odyssey kind of card where it's just got this big pillar and they're all, like, worshipping it and stuff. Yeah. And uh, it affects the uh, the range of a weapon. So it, it's just kind of fun little quirky little effects. The, the problem is that, again, it really doesn't matter how well you do. As long as you get one carrot, you could win. So I guess that's good for kids and for, you know, family situations where you don't really want to be cutthroat and like, I'm better than you, you suck it, you know, kind of thing. <laughs> um, so th it does allow, like, even if you get one card, it might be okay. You know, maybe it's like sportsmanship teaches a kid how to, you know, what I mean. And it is kind of fun um, if you don't mind killing bunnies. Yeah. Um, I can't play kitten in the blender. Kittens in the blender. But apparently you're okay with the, yeah. the bunny thing. Well, what's what's odd? What's odd is that there's actually a dumbed down kitty version. Oh, there's also money where you can like oh, yeah, use the the ball market I, to buy cards and stuff. Where's the money? Um, there's uh there's here's the money. Money. So there's a dumbed down kitty version named Killer Bunnies, Kitty Bunnies, uh, and I forget what the actual rest of the title was. Uh, oh no, The Legend Begins or something. There was some weird like that. And basically, it's a dumbed down version with less violence that younger kids can play even though what is this one slater for like 12 12 and up uh, people but this one isn't very complicated and it's not that violent yeah well you know yeah every now and then you get but a machete but you don't see any actual i don't think graphic it's complicated machete at all, eating. really no um and then and then uh, in addition to that there are two sequels uh did i write down the sequels because i can't remember them off the top oh yeah yeah journey to jupiter was the first one and ultimate odyssey now the difference with ultimate odyssey is right now we're playing with a shuffle deck, and I have to say that these cards do not shuffle well because the lamination just kind of sticks, and you really. But can't they shuffle. are fairly rugged. Yes, so they are very rugged. Off. Um, so, so Ultimate Odyssey lets you build your deck, so you can sit there and choose custom build your deck in order to uh, play that game. But that's and, only for Ultimate Odyssey. And of course, it would be easy enough to do a house rule of simply like whoever has the most carrots, you know, wins kind yeah. of thing. But yeah, that's just my more main core problem is that. What kind of ridiculous ending mechanic is that? But again, it could be used with kids and stuff to kind of alleviate some of that tension of, I'm doing really, really badly. It's like, well, you might still win. Yeah, you know, yeah. Kind of so I can understand it. Now, I've seen this everywhere. I know it's it achieved decent success. So I was interested to finally play it and to learn that it is such a, you know, a simple game, but that that, that big mechanic just bugs the crap out of me. Um, but I did have fun playing it, and I wouldn't mind playing it again. You, however, 
don't seem to really. No, this I, I don't really jive with this game. Um, is that it because much. of killing bunnies? I, I mean, it's okay if it is. Uh, no, not necessarily because it's not. It's not like you're actually like. like like with kittens in the blender, you're physically putting the kitten into the blender, and then he goes away because he's dead. You know, with this, with this, you're really just flipping over a card, saying, "This is what I do to you," and I'm not really attacking your bunny. I'm really attacking you as a person. So it's not that I think bad. It's just the imagery of the blender. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I, <laughs> I think have no so. problem with it. I love well, cats, but well, it's it's a game. It, it's it's odd because there was a there was a flash game or a few of them called like. Uh, uh, hamster in a blender or hamster. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, there was like a, yeah, an animation of that or whatever. Yeah, yeah, interactive. Yeah. Right, thing, right. Yeah. That's that's the game that I was talking about. And I played that, and it, mostly because the hamster was a dick, I didn't mind <laughs> killing him. But yeah, with with kittens in a blender, I can't play that game. I, I'll always try and save the uh, the the kittens. As best always I can. stupidly named, so I have no problem. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Uh, so yes, th there is definitely some fun to have here, but just make sure that you're not super competitive or looking for a game that makes sense right. in a lot of ways. Uh, but it is it is fun. I did have fun, and I would play it again. I just you know have to find someone else to play with me. Apparently, I mean I'll play it. I just I, yeah, I, I prefer gotcha. to play other things. I gotcha. It's 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 inventive and quirky enough, but the mechanics are. Yeah, I mean, I do like that planning ahead thing. Yes, I do think that's a good mechanic. I think I think that I would like to see it in a different context. Exactly, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah. So anyway, all right, guys. Well, I think that's it. That is Killer Bunnies. Thanks again to Theron for letting us borrow. Yes, thanks, Theron. You'll be getting your game back soon. Maybe. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our great playlists. Game Lab's been a lot of fun. Yes, it has. And please leave comments. We love comments. And you can help support us by buying our wares at SpiderWolf.com. That's right. T-shirts, a card game, art, print, shirt, stories, and more. And if you're on Facebook, so are we. So find us and friend us. And uh, if I'm online, I'll chat with you all day. We're also blogging. You can find me, fisk37.tumblr.com. I'm blogging as characters, releasing character sheets, and uh, releasing a little bits about my world that I've created for 10 plus years. So go check it out. If you like it, share it, uh, and, and support me that way. Uh, and I'm and my blog is uh, nicholasbach.tumblr.com, where I have short stories and poetry, and, and uh, I'll be updating it as soon as I can. All right, guys. See you next time. No. I think I think now. You're panicking. Though, right? Yeah, I think now that your eyes are working and you can shoot straight, I'm like, ah, oh, I got it all. It's slipping away. Yeah. Up next, the anime Attack on Titan. On today's dual review, it, should I say the whole thing? Killer Bunny is in the quest for the magic carrot. On today's dual review, it's Killer Bunnies in the quest for the magic carrot. I'm RJ and I'm Nick. Let's get to it. Killer Bunnies. Should we play this again? Real quick. No. <laughs> and there you have our review. Should we play it? No. I was surprised that this came out. Wouldn't this come out like 2007 or something? It's been out a while and it's actually very popular. There's lots of expansions. Oh no, it came out before 2003. I couldn't find an actual date. I'm just glad that I actually got a couple now. Well, now you're now you're leading the uh, the week. Leading the week. Leading the week. Hooray. Well, and you're leading the actual count, so. Hooray. Okay, so you made it close, though. It's very close. You could still catch up. I, I know we're going to be even at some point. I just hope it's, you know, when we're 70. Shepherd! You're like, I finally did it. It's like, that's not fair. I've had both my arms amputated. Because of cancer. Because oh. of cancer? I don't that know. That was depressing. <laughs> it was depressing. Uh, maybe I just found the one that will actually shoot because I keep pushing it back to that one. <laughs> That's my strategy. I think I found the one that shoots well. I don't know. I thought it was fun enough. I just, yeah, that that main mechanic is just kind of like it. It kind of hits you. It sucker punches you. It's yeah. Like, really, I was doing so well. So why the hell did I try to play this game? You know, if it's just he wins with one card. Yeah. And, yeah. The first time we played, I did have like most of the carrots, like almost, you know, like twice as many as Nick did, but he really won. Did. He yep. won. No problem. It's because I didn't want the freaking pirate, and the pirate was on the box. Hate the pirate. Right, yo.